Hello, my name is Ryan Sionais. Welcome to my new guitar lesson. People told good words about my previous guitar lessons. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. However, some people told those are a little bit too complicated exercises to begin with. So people asked me if I could make exercises for guitar players to begin to study the finger tapping technique as well as drumming on the guitar and so-called modern finger style. So, let's start practicing. We are going to use standard guitar tuning. Chords that we are going to use are So, let's start the first exercise. We are going to do some tapping on 4th fret. First we're gonna play 1st string, then 2nd string, then 3rd, 4th, 5th and finally also 6th string. So first we tap and then we do the pull off. I usually pull pull off upwards, but there are some guitar players who also do it like this. So basically it's possible in both ways, but I prefer to pull off upwards. Then we will do exactly the same thing, but we gonna switch the chord. Next chord. And then we combine all together. Then we're gonna do some drumming and we're gonna use the same chords. So first we start with a slap on all strings. Some guitar players also prefer to do it like this. I prefer to slap like this. <laughs> then we do snare sound, twice kick, and snare again. Then we do exactly the same thing on the next chord.
another way how to play this is just with a little bit more slapping. The next exercise is to combine the first and second exercise together and it's going to sound like this. So first we play the second exercise, we start with a slap, snare, kick, kick, snare, then slap again, and then we hit over here on the 12th fret where the overtones are, over here, and then we do the tapping. This time we are going to tap only on 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th string, so we are not going to use the 5th and 6th. A little bit slower. And then we're going to do the same on the next chord. Let's learn another topping exercise. Slowly. So we start with a little slide on the first string, pull off, then we tap again on the fourth string, pull off again, and then we go to the second string, we do the slide again from fourth to fifth fret, and then we tap on fourth fret, and on third string, fourth fret again. And exactly the same thing on the next chords. So, let's combine tapping together with drumming. Slowly. 
slowly. And practice it until you feel comfortable playing it. <laughs> following tapping exercise goes like this <laughs> Previously we could play everything with only one right hand finger but this time we're gonna use two we will start with the middle finger on the first string we will tap on the seventh fret and then we will slide to the ninth and then with index we will slide from the eighth fret to ninth And then we will tap the second string 9th fret and we will finish with a little slide from the 7th to 9th on 2nd string again. Another time the same thing. But please, before speeding it up, practice it until you feel comfortable playing it slow. And now, let's combine this tapping exercise with drumming.
So let's try to do some tapping with two fingers at once. We are going to play some intervals now. First we will tap on the third string and third string at once. Then we do pull off. Second and fourth string. Pull off again. Fifth and fourth string. And finally sixth and fourth fourth string. And let's try to do the very same thing on other chords too. And now let's combine the stepping exercise together with drumming. And now we can combine all exercises together to play our first finger tapping song.
Thanks a lot for watching this video lesson. Hope you will find it useful. If you enjoyed this video lesson, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell not to miss any of my upcoming uploads. Have a great day ahead. Bye bye.